Well, hello everybody, hope you are great. We continue reading the book There Was No Such a Name on the List by Boris Vasiliev, part 49. They might have persuaded him, and Kolya already began to hesitate, despite having a gun. Yes, they would probably have persuaded him, and then Kolya would have spent the night either at the station or at the military registration and enlistment office. But suddenly an elderly man from the next table came to them. My apologies, comrade. Red commanders, my apologies. The young man has really liked our Ruvim Switsky. Ruvim is having dinner now. But I had a conversation with him, and he said that he wanted to play especially for you, comrade young commander. And Kolya didn't go anywhere. He remained to wait for the violinist to play something especially for him. And the lieutenants left because they still had to get settled somewhere overnight. They shook ha his hand tightly, smiled goodbye and stepped into the night. And due to the military registration and enlistment office, and in Dzerzhinsky Street and Lieutenant Nikolai to the overcrowded Brest railway station. They stepped into the shortest night in the year as into the eternity. They were getting less and less people in the restaurant. A thick, windless evening sailed into through the wide open windows. The one-story breast uh, was going to sleep. The lined streets looked like they were made with a ruler, were getting deserted. The lights in the windows shaded with lilac and jasmine were getting extinguished, and only rare droshkachi rumbled their carriages along the echoing pavements. The quiet city slowly sank into a quiet night, the quietest and the shortest night of the year. Kolya was a little dizzy, and everything seemed beautiful, the fading restaurant noise, the warm dusk crawling into the restaurant through the windows, the mysterious city behind these windows, and the wait for the awkward violinist who was going to play especially for him, Lieutenant Plushnikov. Thank you very much for being with me. Have a, have a great time. Goodbye.